Hello everybody, Alex the Ploy here from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be looking at how to test and optimize a Forex robot. And this is going to be a 10 minute lesson and what is really good is that a free robot will be used that you can use. So on your screen you can see a brand new MT4 demo account. So what I'll do is I'll go to the navigator. In the navigator, you can see under expert advisors, you get two free expert advisors. Now, expert advisors are Forex robots, and they're called expert advisors by MetaTrader. So there are two there. There's the MACD sample, and there's the moving average. I'm going to focus on the moving average robot, and that's what we'll use today. So I can close the navigator and what I'll then do is I go to view and we go to strategy tester. Now the strategy tester is a tool supplied by MetaTrader to test your robots. So it's a fantastic tool. I've now loaded it. Here it is at the bottom of my screen. It's already loaded the moving averages. If, if it's not there you just click on the download button select moving average EA and there you are it's loaded I'm going to use the euro USD so I go and look in my drop down menu I find the euro USD and I load that in so we're going to be testing the USD and then there are various methods of testing every tick control models and open prices I'm going to use open prices at, at this stage because this particular ro robot makes its decision on what we call the close of the candle which is actually the open prices of the next candle and that particular setting will work for most robots then I'm going to set the time that I'm going to test it for and I uh, say use date and you can see it goes back quite a long time so you go down I normally just go to today and then it's much easier to work back. So I'm going to start from the 1st of March and then I'm going to say 2. I also say today and then I rather work my way back to yesterday. Okay, so we're testing a six week period. Just want to get a feel of what's going on. The time frame that uh, we're going to be testing this particular one on is a one hour time frame. And if we leave that as current, it will use the current spread charged by the broker. But I'm going to just use 10 there now 10 isn't 10 pips it's 10 points so that's the same as one pip and I want to use that to stabilize the result sometimes if you put current in there especially over a weekend you can get some horrific results uh, because these spreads are increased tremendously okay so we've basically set up so the next step is to go into expert properties and we go into expert properties and it brings up a menu like that and as you can see this is the moving average robot there are five variables that you can enter into this particular robot now i don't know anything about this robot so i'm not going to explain those variables to you and you also don't actually need to know all that much but what we're going to do is we're going to firstly just run the robot as it is and so this is the testing mode i'm just going to test the robot and I, I click here start and you can see it's run very quickly and i click on report and there it sa says that if you use the settings that are in the robot right now you would have made 15 dollars profit over the last six weeks or so so we go back to settings and we say no we want to get the settings that will produce the best results over that historical period so what i do is uh, this section here so that those are the actual settings this section says what do you want to test where do you want to start how, how often do you want to step and where do you want to stop so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to put and i don't know this robot all that well so i'm just going to put some random numbers in here and i'm going to say the shift uh, is one I'm going to test from one with steps of one right up to ten the moving average period I'm going to test from two with steps of one to twenty so in other words it's going to test two three four five six and then stop when it gets to twenty the decrease factor I've got no idea what that is uh, I'm going to test from one and increase it by one 
to six. That's a good good number. And then the maximum risk, again, I don't know how that is set, but I'm going to go from 02 and I'm going to increase it by 02. And I'm going to go right up to the level of, let's say, and I don't, I've got no idea how these things work, but I'm going to go to seven. And then I'm going to say lots. Currently it's set for that. I'm going to say, all right, let's test from there, but let's increase it by the same amount. And we'll stop at seven again. I like seven as a, as a number. So look, I'm guessing with these inputs, but that's the way. And that's the way you do it. You do it by trial and error. And now I have my settings. The next thing is I click on all of these green buttons. So what I'm telling the robot, I'm saying, I want you, go, you to go away and test the ones that I've ticked and look at all the variations that I've asked you to look at all at the same time. So we, we, might, we might be looking at millions of variations. So we click there. Now remember we started out with $15 profit. Let's see if we click on optimization and we let it run. Now this is a very powerful computer. It, it might run quite quickly. What are the best results that come out? So I'll click on start and there we are. It's running away. It's doing, it's done 10,000 variations of the the results and let's have a look at the best results so you click on optimization results you click on profit and you click twice and there we are we've got 35,000 so 35,000 is the best result so I I highlight that I right click and I say set input parameters so if I click on set input parameters it will load it into those settings over there that I told you about. That's actually the settings for the EA. Now it's replaced the old settings with the new ones. And we can now run it as a test, not optimizing. So you don't click optimization. You just run it as a test. So it's going to do only one run. And hopefully the result will be, yeah, there we are, 35,000. So that is how you find the optim optimized results of any forex trading robot. Now, just to bear in mind that in this particular test, and I'll just click here, we used 10,000 as the amount. So 10,000 went to 35,000, not bad on a free EA over a six week period. So you can change that number. You can make it 100 if you want. So then it will do an optimization based on a hundred starting balance. What is not shown here is that we've tested millions of combinations at the same time. And in order to test millions, there's an algorithm called the gen genetic algorithm. You click that, it will only select the input that could generate the best results. So it short circuits the testing. Now that you've done all this work, you don't want to lose it. So what you do is you go settings, you go to the expert properties, you go to inputs and you save your work. So you click save and you say Euro USD and you save it. So now all of that work has been saved. If you want to recover it at some stage, you just go load, click on Euro USD and you open it and there it is. Okay, so now you know how to test an EA and how to optimize an EA. And your homework will be to go and change the symbol. For instance, go and test the pound, the Aussie, the yen, the franc, the, the CAD, and all those kind of crosses. And also vary the period. Go and try the four hour. Go and try the th 30 minutes. See what results you get. And I... I can guarantee that you will find better results over that particular period. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. You can see that testing and optimizing an EA is not that difficult. And the more practice you get, the better you'll get at it. So please go and do the homework that I've suggested. Watch this video again if you need to. And all the best with your Forex robot trading. Hopefully I've given you an idea how to improve your Forex robot trading very quickly in this 10-minute lesson. From your ex-employee, cheerio.